Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the Drop Top Dodge Challenger Hellcat. This is a last year thing, and I think this is so cool. Before we get into this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Doug Smith Dodge Ram here in Spanish Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this car. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So powering this is a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that goes through an eight-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs with this are a whopping 717 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque, or at least that's what I read. This is a jailbreak challenger. It's not a red-eye uh, challenger, but still 700 horsepower is insane. Oh, and before anyone questions me on anything, last call challenger, there's your plaque. So before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you've got the snorkel design there, which I think looks absolutely fantastic, especially with this orange paint. I mean, it really pops. And then down below, you guys can see here with the signature headlight design, you've got the Hellcat logo there as well. And I like how it's all blacked out here. And then this is just the protection guard from the factory. Some people just leave these on their challengers. It's funny how like sometimes people will talk a lot of crap if a challenger has it on still after a person takes delivery. Other other people are like trying to put these on their challengers because they like the look. It's, it's an interesting thing to me. Um, but anyways, putting it all together, again, especially in this orange paint, I think it looks fantastic. Now around the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 305, 35, 20 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheel design, again, looks fantastic with the metallic gray. I like how the brake calipers are actually orange as well. Brembo brakes, for those of you that are wondering. And then we do have the wide body kit with this Challenger from the factory. Got the Hellcat badge there on the side. And if we take a few steps back, you can see the full side profile here. With the wide body and the convertible, it looks crazy. And I will say, I think this is one of the first convertibles that I think looks good. And I think a big part of why this actually works is because the Challenger is so boxy with the design that the top kind of matches a lot of the body lines you have with the car. And you guys can see the spoiler here on the back, which looks really cool. And then you get your custom badge here because of the drop top conversion. And then you've got the taillights here that Again, boxy with the design. And then you guys can see here with the exhaust tip covers at the bottom. And then here's a view of the rear of the car. Again, I think this looks really good because of the boxes. Let me know what you guys think, but this kind of reminds me of the drop tops from like the 1950s. And then something else to note, I don't think that this was changed here, but this weather stripping, it looks a little bit different. And again, really good fit and finish. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely not that on the back. So it looks like they kind of had to change that obviously for the whole top situation. And the top itself, again, looks like good quality. And then the this actually works. I wanted to show this to you guys. So if I close the door, the window goes up and everything. So that all functions normal. And so even though this is technically not from the factory, it has factory quality. And we will very gently open this up. So inside, this is gonna be a fully loaded Challenger. So you can see all the stitching here and look at the material use down below. We've got automatic windows, you got blind spot monitoring, and then I'm not gonna take the cover off the seat or anything like that. Um, but you can see with the passenger seat there with the Hellcat logo, um, but yeah, bucket type design and everything, partially power adjustable. And then this does have rear seats kind of peak in there, which, I mean, this would be the best Challenger to have rear seats in because if you have the top down, you've got an okay amount of leg room in the back of the Challenger, you could actually, you know, have enough headroom, it'd be great. And then, normal looking pedals down below. And then this is the system for the top. You can see the buttons added. This looks a little bit more aftermarket, but that looks kind of more OEM with the whole situation. And you get your light controls and then the steering wheel's power adjustable. And then look at the trim on the dash. And then you guys can see with the steering wheel, you've got Alcantara wrapped around it, which looks really cool. And uh, it looks like this one, again, it's got like adaptive cruise control. It's got all the luxury stuff. And look at the gauges here. That's really cool. And then you got the normal center stack here with the Challenger. And then it says jailbreak there at the 
very, very end, interior-wise. And yeah, it looks like the material used with this again. It's it's solid. It's 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 like a normal soft top, but yeah, I think they did a I think they did a really good job with this build. Um, so with this particular car, we're not going to be driving it or anything like that. Uh, just leaving it where it is. Um, but I do want to quickly talk about pricing. Uh, so this is a jailbreak Hellcat, and it's stickered for about eighty-seven thousand dollars before the top conversion. I think the top's like another twenty thousand dollars. So in total, this is over a hundred thousand dollars. I may be a little bit off on the pricing with the top, but I think it's about twenty thousand dollars in terms of the add-on. So let me know what you guys think about this build, and let me know if you think if it's worth it uh, going for the drop top. I think this would be a really cool experience because you'd get like tons of access to the Hellcat sounds from the supercharger up front to the exhaust there in the back and it looks really good this is out of all of the muscle car convertibles i think this is the best looking one that i've seen and again i think that boxy design is what makes it look so good because when you, like the camaro convertibles for example they just look funny they look dorky but this it just it gives you like 1950s vibes 1960s vibes and i think it looks really cool but let me know what you think so actually driving with the maybach I mean, you don't get any engine noise, so super quiet. The braking's a little bit, a little bit interesting with the electric braking. Some new electric braking systems you don't really notice it too much. This I kind of notice it a bit. I also have it on strong recoup though, so it's going to be doing like a one pedal drive. So that's part of the reason why the braking feels so weird. Let's actually do it to just normal recoup and see if that is any better. I feel like those windshield wipers are super long because this windshield overall seems pretty large. Man, this is such a nice experience. It's just so quiet. And it's 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 smooth. It's buttery smooth. With this. I'm impressed. Does this have like a oh it's got a sport mode. That's cool. We'll see kind of how that performs once we're up and moving. But yeah, so far, oh, yeah, it's probably got over 600 horsepower, probably. I'll get another one, but man, it's, that is, that is just powerful. Go vegan. Yeah, he's saying, he's saying go vegan as in like, get the vegans out of here, leave, leave. Ah <laughs> oh, man, that's quick. That's quick. That is that is powerful. That is powerful. Sorry, I had to make I had to make fun of the I had to make fun of the sign. Also, actually